Um, so Wednesday will be the last of the nice weather, okay. and then it all changes. I'm for a Utah blizzard, I think. Okay. Blizzard? Yeah. yeah that, I, mean, I like the blizzard. The ice, too. Yeah, yeah that's ice, good. It's cold. Yeah. yeah. And when there hasn't been taken yet. And the shakes so. are good. Yeah. yeah. And the shakes are really good. <laughs> See? And you can capitalize on that. There's more money to be made, right? Um, hey, we had a beautiful day today, and hopefully you're catching all the cherry blossoms. You can start to see the leaves popping on a lot of these fruit trees, and we are going to start to see these uh, move on out of here as we get later into spring. But a short been gorgeous. Uh, hopefully your allergies are not driving you crazy just yet. We are going to see the pollen counts continue to go with the tree pollen that's going to continue to go up uh, as we head through uh, the next several days before the big shift in the weather pattern where the rain arrives and it's just going to wash a lot of that pollen away. Out there right now, we have some clouds rolling in and made for a beautiful sunset last night. Uh, you can see a summer turn showing up on the radar and most of that is just evaporating before it hits the ground. So there's some upper level moisture, but uh, really nothing to bring us any rain and the clouds will insulate us, keeping our temperatures tonight very, very mild. There's a low pressure system just driving by well to our north up in Canada, but it is squashing this high pressure down down just a bit. And so when that happens, uh, that means our temperatures just won't be quite as warm as they were today. We almost hit 80 in Salt Lake and tomorrow we'll have highs more, more likely in the uh, low 70s. So a little bit of a drop for us, but still about 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. Storm zone forecast uh, showing that the clouds that are around right now clear out. So we'll have a lot of sunshine tomorrow, late in the day, tomorrow evening, more clouds rolling in. Tuesday will be the cloudier day uh, for the beginning of the week. There may even be a quick little sprinkle that rolls in on Tuesday morning around the periphery, periphery of that high pressure system. And then we're back to just cloudy skies with some sunshine in between Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures will actually go up a little bit more on Tuesday. And then Wednesday is the warm before the storm, southwest flow kicking in before this big trough moves in on Thursday. So you can see the rain coming in across Utah Thursday afternoon and evening. It continues to develop Friday. We have mountain snow as temperatures continue to drop. Not just Utah, much of the West getting hit with the unsettled weather. Saturday, we still have it in place. It does look like as we go into Sunday, Hopefully we're kicking that system out. But several days with rain chances in northern and even southern Utah and a big drop in temperatures. Right now, not looking for any freezing temperatures in our valley locations as we head towards the weekend. Our last freeze dates typically May 6th in Logan, Ogden, April 30th. Salt Lake would be tomorrow. Uh, Heber, June 11th. Provo, uh, late April. May 6th, Tooele and Cedar City at May 21st. So we are getting closer to some of those dates. And again, long term, even with that cool off. We have clouds. We have rain around that should prevent us from going down to a freeze. Temperatures in the mid 60s, mid 70s in St. George, central Utah, mid to upper 70s with lots of sunshine tomorrow. Southern Utah, 90 in St. George, upper 80s in Moab, and we're in the mid 70s in Beaver. Your seven day forecast for St. George temperatures stay on the warm side through midweek, then cooling off Thursday with clouds increasing and then a chance for rain Friday and Saturday. Saturday, we're back to 68 for a high. We're in the upper 60s tomorrow tomorrow in Cache Valley, but low to mid 70s for the Wasatch Front tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. Lows will be in the upper 40s. And your seven-day forecast for the Wasatch Front. Temperatures do go back up again Tuesday, Wednesday to the middle and even upper 70s before things cool off. But notice at night, we're still talking lows in the mid 40s as we head into next weekend. So we are getting closer to that time of the year. You know, Mother's Day usually is the safest bet, but right now, I mean, it's looking pretty good for us to so maybe if you if you know brave enough. You don't sound very convincing there, Christine. No, no, no. I think I'm, I think it looks okay. good. Yeah. All right. Okay.